Welcome to Alpstadt, to the first UCI mountain bike World Cup. And um, yeah, the sun is out. I haven't seen the sun for a while. It was very nasty the last few days. Uh, the course was very wet and uh, now today it totally changed. The sun is out. A lot of spectators are walking through. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward for the first World Cup to start off the World Cup series. Uh, we got Jaroslav here, Kohei, Todd, Howard is racing this afternoon. And then tomorrow the girls are going to take off with uh, Leah and Teresa. Uh, we have the new Iceworks 2013 uh, Epic on the start line, the Fate and also the Hardtail. Jaroslav is riding the same setup as last year, just a new bike. Um, yeah, we did some suspension tuning for him, especially for this course. The bike is the uh, same like normal, but uh, I switched the tire for ground control tires and the uh, train ring is uh, 34. I like dry conditions and uh, this is too, too much slipery for me and uh, there is a lot of corners. Uh, yeah, but uh, we will see on Sunday. This morning uh, I'm try course, not uh, too long climb, but uh, yeah, steep and uh, downhill also rocks and uh, roots and uh, muddy. So yeah, concentration. <laughs> Yeah, the start was really fast. I wasn't quite used to that speed. Maybe I've been doing more endurance type races. Picked off a few people, had a little crash on lap two. And then in the last three laps, I think I probably picked off like 20 people, just consistently passing people on the climbs and then playing it more conservative on the descents. Just need to start better next time. Yeah, I'm super pumped to be here. We got um, some new additions to the team. We have another girl on the team, which I'm very pumped about, um, Teresa Horikova. Uh, I think she's gonna be a great addition. And um, already she's brought a lot of good energy to the team and um, I'm psyched to kick some ass with her. <laughs> yeah, no, the Fate is a perfect choice for this course, um, just because it has you know, very steep climbs and it, and it will be a little bit slick out there. So um, sometimes that can get boggy, you know, and it, it feels like it kind of sucks your wheel. But the fate is so light this year, especially with the one by 11. It should be great though. It's a great course for the World Cup opener. Plenty, plenty challenging, so it should be fun. Should be specialized cake with uh, homemade marmalade. It's really tricky, muddy and uh, technical course with steep, steep climbs, so I normally like the mat, but if it's getting drier, it's getting more sticky, more uh, like a glue, so then it's uh, really difficult and uh, difficult especially to keep your line and keep control uh, uh, over your bike. That was tough. It was like ice that last lap when it started raining. I went down just on the road actually. Oh man. But yeah, it was solid. It's good experience and good start. I'm satisfied and I hope it, it, it will go just better next week. We have Czech World Cup in Nova Mesto and it's my home race. So I will do my best to be there. Yeah, it was really, really tough, so towards the end, I could feel I was just getting more and more inside. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty satisfied now and I have a much better start position for the for the coming race in Novo Mesto, so that was my goal and it's perfect, so yeah, it's good. Being a tall guy and having such a high center of gravity, I find on some of the steeper descents that it's, uh, you know, it's kind of tough to get back behind the saddle. And so with the command post, I ride with it at home a little bit on my um, Stump Jumper FSR. And anytime there's steep stuff or drops, I always just hit the command post, saddle drops down, and it's much easier to um, 
to ride the sections and I feel like I can go a bit faster so the weather's been playing havoc, uh, some really slick conditions. Uh, the girls had it good and then it rained quite a bit. Um, kept us guessing with tire combinations. And in these conditions, you, you just have to fight right till the end. Anything can happen. Yeah, I feel good, but the uh, weather is crazy, so we will see. Coming out the start loop, Kai was leading into the feed zone, um, had us super excited and yeah, lap two I think was, yeah, I think he had a big crash and unfortunately ended his race. Todd also unfortunately had a bit of a mechanical problem and ended his one a lap later and then it was just Yaroslav left over and he was in sixth at the time. So Yaroslav is sitting in third position right now. But the other two guys just behind him. Man, this this race was crazy, huh? So many up and downs. I mean, uh, Dan Yaroslav was just getting stronger and stronger by the end of the race, and finishing on uh, third position there. That was awesome. I mean, that's unbelievable. I went to uh, consistent tempo, and uh, I didn't risk uh, the downhill. I didn't have. Uh, any problem, my bike was perfect, uh, the tires was amazing. Uh, uh, next week is race uh, in Nova Nesto. it's uh, in Czech and uh, Nova Nesto is 60 k's from my hometown. It will be an amazing race with uh, a lot of spectators and uh, with a nice atmosphere. It's a good chance because uh, Nino Schurte and uh, Julian Absalon was, uh, was behind me and uh, I had really good position for overall standing. Uh, so, but it's just first uh, first race and uh, we will see later. The 29er Asbrox Epic was holding up perfect. I don't know how actually the bike is still running and uh, the wheels are spinning, but yeah, it's a good feeling and uh, let's say what's happening next week.